I don't know if you guys realize it or not, but I get to live in downtown Miami around some of the most wealthiest people, some of the most inspired, motivated, confident people for the first time in my life. A little get to know me. Guys, I'm only 22 years old. You know, I didn't graduate college. I dropped out actually. And you know, I live in this beautiful apartment. Okay, I have a remote for my LED lights. Give me, give me one second, I'm gonna turn it on. I promise it works, just wait. Look at that. I get to live here. Can you even see the lights? It's kind of dark, you know what I mean? Look at the lights, beautiful. I, I dreamt of living here and people are telling me, Ty, why do you, why? Or don't you know it's cheaper in other places? Guys, my, my mindset has dramatically changed since moving to this apartment. In this apartment, I reached monetization, I hit 2K subscribers, I found myself, I feel more confident, I look beautiful. I So many things have changed for me because I'm around people that's like-minded. I'm not saying if I lived in another place, I'll lose my mindset, I'll just wanna go, I don't know, just throw my life away. I'm not saying that's gonna happen. That would never happen. Being around people constantly, just pushing you and seeing people with Lambos and Ferraris and living good makes you just constantly push yourself. There's not a day where I wake up where I'm not like grinding. Like guys, it got to the point where people come to me telling me that I inspire them. My own mother texted me saying, like son, you inspire me. Like that's coming from my mother. And that's because I live in such a beautiful city and in such a beautiful place that allows me to just constantly push myself. Some of you guys have been keeping up, but some of you guys might be new, but I used to live all the way down there, like over there in Little Havana. And don't get it wrong, you know, living over there wasn't bad, but it just wasn't the location that inspired me to want to keep going. Like to live here in my dream place, I don't want to lose this. That's another thing. Living in a place like this, you get to like it push your brain and like your mind into a certain place where you don't want to lose this. I don't want to lose this apartment. There's been times where I'm gonna just say it right now, I almost got evicted, people. And you know, that's because I was being lazy. I didn't want to work hard. I wasn't pushing. But once I got those letters, like, yo, if you don't pay us, you're out. You're going to be back over there, you know, figure it out. No, I am going to do anything possible to make sure I stay right here. For the guys that commented, like, I'm not going to put your comment up because I don't want to, like, you know, do that because you could be just genuinely asking, like, Ty, why do you live there? But for you guys, genuinely, like, I want to ask, like, do you not have dreams? Do you not have aspirations? Don't you... Like when you see people living the best life, don't that doesn't that's how does that not motivate? Like I've always asked myself, how does an average person they hate their job? Like I hear it, they hate their job, and then I see them get on TikTok, get on YouTube, Instagram, and see people living the best life, and they're just angry scrolling. And I'm thinking like, you see them, they're a normal person, they're doing it, you know, they're just like me, skin and blown flesh, but they're living the life, they're happy. Don't you want that? Like. Don't you want to live somewhere like this? Like I get, it might be expensive. Yes, I get, like, I understand completely. I do, trust me, I do. Sometimes I wake up and see 2,200, just left the bank. I'm like, what, do, do I want to keep living here? But I got to remind myself that living here just keeps me motivated. You guys see my channel? My channel is on a whole new level now because I'm just so motivated. I don't want to lose this apartment, no. They trying to reduce, reduce my pay, reduce that, trying to take this from me, my one will. I'm not letting it happen. I'm not letting it go. I can't let it go. I'm going to keep grinding. And this apartment does that for me. Some of you guys say you watch because I inspire you. You know, maybe you watch me. You know, I used to ask, like, why do you guys watch? You know, because I didn't know. But I think I kind of have a clue. Like, you just, you love to see somebody that's not just talking about it. That's actually doing it. That's going to move to the top floor. That's going to move to you know, the new state, get out of his mom's room. That's gonna do the things he says he's gonna do. He's not gonna just talk about it. I'm tired of talking about it. I see so many, just, I see so many people just talking about it. Don't talk about it, just do it. Go, grind, work. That's what I did and I'm here now. Are you happy with what you got? And I'm not trying to say that in a condescending way or try to put you down because honestly, I mean, I'm happy, you know, but obviously I'm not in my peak happiness. I know that, I know where I could be, I know where life can be, how much I can flourish. But you gotta ask yourself, are you happy? Because when you ask me, Ty, why do you live there? Yada, yada, yada. Wouldn't you be happy living here? If you're asking me that question, obviously you don't wanna be somewhere like this. You don't wanna have, you know, the top floor balcony. 
you can look out, you can't even see it. I'm guessing you don't want to wake up and just be able to come like to your balcony and just look outside. Like, I get to do, this is my normal day, people. This is me, today is, hey Siri, what is today? It's Monday, October 21st. It's Monday. It's Monday. Some people want to work today. Some people have to go to their nine to five. I mean, I still have a nine to five. Don't get it twisted. But some people are going to their nine to five, hating life living where they don't want to live, doing everything they don't want to live, for what? If I'm going to live a stressful life, God damn it, I'm going to live it happy, in a good place, in a beautiful location, where I can look into the world and keep visualizing and keep pushing and keep... I, I don't know what you guys see, but whenever I look out my balcony, and I look over the world, I just see so much potential, like so many people to reach, so much to do, so much... And now I get Genghis Khan. I get Christopher Columbus. You can't even see me. I'm so dark. I used to ask what made them so ambitious. Like, why do they cross the Nile Sea and, and fight the barbarians? Why do they do that? That's because they saw the world. They saw the potential. That's what I see. Like, I see so much living here. I see people living life every day. And no, I'm not leaving. I'm going to keep going up, actually. Ty, why do you live in this 2000? Guys, I'm gonna keep going up. I'm not saying I want a penthouse mansion. That's that's crazy. But I do want to have a nice place of my own. To be honest with you, I have a roommate, and I love Jerry the Duck. But let's be honest, who wants to live with a roommate their whole life? I want to have my own place. So eventually, I'm gonna have to make more. I'm, I'm gonna have to spend more money on rent. So like, who's complaining about 2K when I have to pay more in the future? Right? That's how. That's what I'm thinking. People ask me all these questions. Why do you do this? Why do you do that? Yada yada yada. And I got to the point where I don't really like talk or when people ask questions because at this point I'm tired of answering myself people I, same question saying this why do you do this why don't you go out why don't you just have fun drink with us no 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 leave me alone so I'm done answering just repetitive questions but for the last time I'm gonna live my life freely and just you're gonna see people the world everybody we're all gonna, we're, you're gonna see no more doubts there's no more doubts there's no more worries there's no more fears this is why I live in this apartment if you're asking, if you want to know that badly. And I'm pretty sure you probably want to live in it too, you know? I mean, it's a dope apartment. I might give you guys a little, let me give you guys a little quick tour. Okay, I did this on my channel earlier, but the views wasn't looking that great. It is what it is, you know? Hey, they're sleeping on me, but I'm not going to be slept on no more. I promise you that. Make it be known. But here we are. This is the apartment. So uh, let me turn some lights on because it is dark over here. Uh, whatever. Um, so my apartment's pretty dope. Um, as you can see, I did say I did have a roommate. Um, we're gonna check that out over there. But this is my room. This is the living room, actually. Bed, PC, desktop. Haven't turned that on in so long. Holy crap. Um, I have this. Um, a little wardrobe. I low key. I love fashion. I want to get into some more fashion videos. You guys want to see that? Let me know. Um, I made some like Timu and stuff, but I love fashion. Like I just, as you can tell, I love the dress. Like. Come on. You know, you might have my kitchen area. Really dope. Pretty white marble and stuff. Move this out of the way. Jerry's room's there. This is the bathroom. I got the LEDs popping in here, too. Um, yeah. It's kind of dirty. I'm sorry. We're guys. We're guys. Man, like, I love this apartment. Like, I remember when I first moved in, um, like, when I was looking at it, I couldn't even believe that I was, like, potentially moving here. Like, at first... It still seemed kind of impossible because they told us we needed like 7K to move in because you need first months, last rents, security deposit, and some other stuff. And that just added up. And, you know, we we were broke at the time. I think I had like maybe 600 bucks in my, in my bank. Um, so we were like, how are we going to get 7K? I think, I think it was 7K. It might have been more. It could have been 10. I just know we needed a hefty amount. And we just, you know, I mean, look at this. We didn't expect to be here. I didn't expect to be here. Um, but I feel like I really like low-key manifested this. I, I, I want to make a video on manifestation um, because I feel like I really just manifested my whole life. Like, if you guys go, if I, can, if I could go back and find my old notebook at like 16, I have like the notes. I want to have an apartment um, in downtown. I didn't say the city. It was New York, but I didn't put a city. I probably should have put New York. Fuck. Ah, mistakes. But I put... I want to live in a top floor um, downtown apartment, all white. Look at the look at the walls, all white. I said I wanted nice countertops. I said I wanted white cabinets. Now these aren't white, but I mean it's kind of close, and they're soft closing. I didn't know that existed, but that's just an added benefit. Sometimes you get more than you even 
asked for. I said I wanted to live with my best friend. And around like 16, I don't, I mean, I had a best friend. His name was Chase. Um, but like we kind of fell off like shortly after. So like I didn't know who I was going to live with. But now that I have like Jerry, like I didn't meet Jerry. Like we, me and Jerry knew each other, but we really didn't like fully like connect into after high school. That's when we really just spent all the time together. We just like kind of talked to each other in school. But after we like got out of high school and we had to find out life, and me and him had similar mindsets. Like, look where we're at, people. Most people aren't moving out, aren't doing this, aren't actually doing it. Like I said, I got to keep going up. I got to keep seeing brightness. But, you know, eventually we became best friends and we moved in together. So now I literally have I have my dream board. I didn't put it here because I have new dreams now. Because, I mean, if you get to this point, you got to set new goals. So now I'm here. So once I get here... That's when I know, like, I mean, I'm already, like, to the point where I think, man, like, I know for sure manifestation is real. Look where I'm at, people. I said I wanted curly hair. I said, you know, I wanted to have good skin. I mean, ooh, ooh, ooh shit. Okay. Um, so, um, I don't know. But I said I wanted to look good and be attractive and have people like my energy and my, and my presence. And I have that. People, like, just like me now. Like, I come in the room. I don't know, man. Ty's just a cool guy. Like, I don't even really talk, but people just, Ty's funny. I don't even really make, like, I haven't talked. I don't know if they see my videos, maybe. That's probably what it is. Because I'm, in real, in person, okay, so let me put my camera down. In person, if I'm going to be honest, I'm a pretty, like, quiet guy. I'm not an introvert. Well, actually, I don't know. I think I'm, like, an introverted extrovert. Because, like, I like meeting new people, but, like, just not that much. Like, when I meet somebody that's cool as fuck, Man, it's like the best thing on earth. But until that happens, I don't want to like talk to nobody. I'd rather stay at home. Like you guys see, most of the time I'm on, I'm on this channel by myself, and then I might got Jerry. But other than that, ain't nobody else really just being here. It's just us, you know. But the fact that I have this personality, this confidence, like I have the hair that I want. I just made a video on how to get the hair. If you want to go find out. Um, but sorry, little plug. But I have like everything that I wanted, and I manifested it. And this apartment is a part of that. Why would I not want to move here? Like, if I had the opportunity, Ty, you got to get 7K. How am I supposed to get 7K? Hey, man, you got to just work hard for it. And that's what I did. I just worked hard. And if I have the opportunity to finally, like, get what I manifested at 16, I remember looking at a shooting star. Shooting star. Dreamy. Me and Jerry. Jerry was there. There's another guy named Austin. He, I remember it like it was yesterday. We was on the rock, just sitting there, looking up, thinking, one day. I was thinking, like in my head, I had, I want to, uh, I can't say it out loud because it's a shooting star. It won't come true. I'm sorry. But all you need to know is, it's a little bit of that happening now. Like, we're, we're getting into that. You know, that shooting star, man, is some, is some truth to it. Like, looking back, how everything is lining up, it's crazy. So if you're still wondering why I live here, it's because it just motivates me. You know, it keeps me pushing. If I didn't live here, if I was somewhere else where, you know, socially economics was lower or people just wasn't doing anything. Everybody was out of shape. I'm not gonna say I would totally just fall off and just, you'll never hear from me again. I'm not saying that's gonna happen, but but it definitely would affect like how I work and my discipline. When we almost got evicted, they gave us the letters. Oh, if you don't have this money by now, you're gonna be kicked out. That pushed me into another gear. I feel so free. I, there is, I'm completely me now. Like, I don't know what happened. It's been an awakening. And I'm just so glad I'm, I'm here. Like, I don't, I don't know what happened. I don't know why at first I couldn't just be me. But this is me. Like, I'm just, I'm a cool guy. You know, I'm glad you're here to watch. I'm glad I got this dope apartment. It really is a blessing to be here. You know, I really, I, I never forget to count my blessings. I don't have to be here. You know, like I said, I almost got evicted. You know, I don't, it's not a right to be here. You know, I have to work hard for it. And I'm just so grateful that I can just, Live in such a beautiful place, you know, with my best friend and just feel so like happy and so motivated to keep pushing. Seeing wealth and people live a good life, for some people it pisses them off, they get mad. Oh, he shouldn't have that. Why does he have it? I don't have it. For me, it motivates me. It's like, yo, he's human just like me. Okay, that means it's possible. But like I said, I could be, I could be just built different. You know, I've always been told, Ty, you just, something's different about you. I don't know what it is. I've been told that, and you know, maybe it's just a sign. Uh, see you guys in the next vid, though. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna be doing. Like I said, this is the era of things retired. I said that like a while back, 
some of you guys probably didn't believe me. Like, oh, here we go. This guy, he's talking to me. Oh, it's another YouTuber of what I'm about to do, but he's not going to really do it. I'm doing it. I'm, I'm running marathons. I'm doing my hair. I'm, I haven't gone to the gym yet. Fuck. Do I need to go to the gym? Maybe I should go to the gym. I said I, I, said I was going to go to the gym. I'm sorry. It's so hard. Bro, do you understand how hard it is to go back to the gym after you've been out for two years? It feels like I would rather do anything but go to the gym. Like, I have a gym downstairs, but... I mean, it's not the best gym, but it's not a bad gym. I just, I'm lazy. You know what? I'm going to go route to this video. I got my headphones. I'm going to get, you know, redressed because I'm, I'm dressed to the nines right now. Look at that. I'm sitting all proper and prim. Ooh, I'm looking prim and proper too. Oh, my good skin, healthy. Man, thank you so much for watching and just enjoying a little dose of Thai. You know, this is just me. I Hopefully, hopefully this doesn't piss nobody off. I Like I said, I know things, videos like this talking about, oh, look where I got. I'm living in the top of... Oh, fuck you. You're just bragging. I'm not trying to brag. Guys, honestly, like I said, I can barely afford this. Let's be honest with you. I'm not, like, living... I'm not balling to the wall. Like, you know, I work my hours at work, but, you know, I'm not balling. You know, I'm not making hella money off YouTube. I'm just, you know, a happy guy living in a happy place, doing happy things. And with that being said, I hope you're happy. Be happy. Spread happiness. Okay, that might be a little bit too much happiness. See you guys in the next video. Peace. Love you so much. Bye.